have you faced gender discrimination in the Air Force? Yeah. Elsewhere? Yeah, sure. Um, look, being a fighter pilot is still very much a male-dominated career field. When I joined my first fighter squadron in the late 90s, um, it was not a welcoming environment. Let's just put it that way. Uh, I'll give you an example. I mean, I would walk down the hallway and say hello and good morning, and they would not even look me in the eye or talk to me, some of them. Um, I would walk into the fighter squadron bar, because most fighter squadrons have a, a bar, and a lot of work and good talking actually gets done in there. And when I would walk in, there was a group of guys who would put down their drinks, turn their backs, cross their arms, and stop talking until I left. Now, imagine going through that at 22, 23 years old as a young gal. And it hurt. I never let them see me sweat. I would go home, stick my face in a pillow, and cry a lot. And that's the gosh honest truth. And I would remind myself of two things. One, this is my dream. I had this dream since I was five. This has nothing to do with you or me trying to interrupt your culture or me trying to be a first at anything. This was my dream. And only I get to define success for myself. I'm never going to let anybody else define success for me. And the second thing, you know, that I remember thinking was this. Even though they were wrong, you have to show empathy to other people. And the way that I got through it was reminding myself that cultural organizational change, cultural change is hard for everyone on all sides of a position. And that I was the one, you know, who was maybe disrupting the paradigm and the culture and they needed to accept that. But I also looked at them with empathy and realized that it's also hard for these guys to change their beliefs and their culture. And when you look at people with empathy, it makes it a lot easier to get through that turbulence. And over time, I just focused on mastering my craft flying the jet. The jet didn't care that I was a woman. You know, the beauty of being a fighter pilot is it's very objective. We measure and analyze everything, and it's on tape, and we debrief frame by frame by frame. So at a certain point, the naysayers start to look silly when the objective fact and data shows that you're capable of doing it.